what kind of technology is good enough? Is it a 2x2 MIMO, 3x3 MIMO, or 4x4 MIMO? And uh, how the cost plays uh, some sort of a role in uh, selecting that, uh, uh, that uh, technology. I guess 2x2, two two, uh, without going through too much detail, is just not good enough because there's not enough reliability associated with it. Uh, the way we measure reliability for watching video is when you're watching uh, constant uh, TV for eight hours and you don't see any glitch, that's a good measure of reliability. And if you translate that into some sort of a technical equation, you get to about a packet loss, uh, watching TV for, uh, without having a packet lost over an eight hour period. And that, that translates to some, something in the order of 0.001%. Uh, packet loss or packet error rate. Uh, that's the kind of reliability we need for watching uh, high def video. Now, uh, both 3x3 and 4x4 technologies uh, are capable of delivering that kind of packet error rate. So I guess the question is how much bandwidth do we need for any given home now and maybe in the future. You might be looking at 30 to 40 megabit per second kind of uh, data rate inside uh, over the air to get to, to, to your TV so that you, know, you can watch a high quality video. Um, based on those numbers and how many uh, TVs you'll have and also whether you're going to play uh, video games uh, that even require higher bandwidth, maybe 50 to 60 megabit per second because of low latency requirements, uh, then um, for a bandwidth, total bandwidth inside home, you require in the order of 120 megabits per second of highly reliable video, the one, the type of packet error rate we talked about earlier, like 0.001%. Uh, that's the kind of thing you need uh, for watching video. I guess a, a legitimate question is that, okay, what is the cost difference between 3x3 three three and 4x4, four four and uh, would the consumer be able to or would pay for the extra dollars that may go with 4x4 four four, uh, MIMO as opposed to a 3x3? Three and that's a fair question. Uh, fundamentally, over time, silicon technology and anything that goes around the 4x4 versus the 3x3 three three, uh, would force the cost compression between the two. So ultimately, for a person who, uh, who, is, seeing, who is buying a TV may not know the difference, but uh, fundamentally, the cost difference over time should be below a dollar. So ultimately, um, uh, based on all the analysis we've done and shared with you, uh, IEEE 2011 and 4x4 MIMO plus adaptive and dynamic beamforming uh, fits the bill. And uh, uh, that's all you really need to, to figure out your HD video.